Hi, I'm Claire, and I'm a brain tumor and brain surgery survivor. Welcome to Couch Conversations with Claire. I know this might not seem like a couch environment, but for me, being out in nature is inspirational, and that's perfect. The key intention of Couch Conversations is all about connecting and providing resources in the form of short videos and blogs to individuals looking for this type of information on a personal note from a survivor. What I'd really like to do is to provide these resources in a form of a positive support. So let's get started. Today's topic is all about the next steps that happen after those words, you have a brain tumor. Those words that can often make the world stand still for a moment in time. I know for me, the day afterwards, I was on a huge quest and a search for information. I wrote a blog about this topic, which you can find on my website, twosteps.ca, which shows you all the information resources that I found very helpful to help me find information on my brain tumor. Today, what I'd really like to do is share the most important things that I found helped me with my next steps after I was diagnosed with a brain tumor. And please note, these things did definitely did not happen overnight. The first thing that I did was to surround myself with a very confident and positive medical team. The second thing that I did was to lean into my family and friends for support. Thirdly, what I did was to learn to become my body's own advocate, a very important thing. I also learned and seeked out and wanted to connect with people who had walked in the same path that I had walked. I wanted to be able to connect with them and I did this by searching for support groups whether it would be online or in person. So perhaps ask your medical profession for what you can find or search online and see what you can find. And the fifth thing which took me a lot of time was to actually learn to live day by day and step by step. After such a diagnosis of, of any kind I think um, such as this it's very hard. There's a lot of unanswered questions, there's a lot of what ifs, there's a lot of whys and learning to live in the moment makes this a little bit easier. But this for me personally took a lot of time and I think for every individual it takes them a while to figure out the best way to do this. I hope today by me sharing a few of these pointers for you it may help you if you have been recently diagnosed or perhaps have a loved one or a friend who has been diagnosed. Feel free to visit me at twosteps.ca to read the blog, subscribe to my newsletter, or for more resources. Strength and gratitude. See you soon.